Hi everyone. First of all, let me ask you one question. Would you like to watch speed band videos like this with my voiceover or would you prefer it without? Let me know in the comments because your comments are important to me. Let's talk about the art itself. So this is one of those rare occasions where I actually paint a full-fledged art on Procreate. I really want to use Procreate but I'm so scared because the default brushes are so unruly and so difficult to handle. So I am afraid that I will make the art look super bad. I only use it when I'm trying to make a nice line art because the sketch brushes are amazing on Procreate, I must say. It's just too good. So I use it sometimes when I need to sketch something or I just want to make some kind of a pencil shading art or a charcoal art. I absolutely love it. But otherwise, it's just so difficult to handle. And finally, I made a video on Procreate after probably like one year because I was so not confident in myself and my skills on Procreate. But I think from now on, I can make more videos on Procreate as well. One important note here that I did not really use default brushes for painting. I used the default 6B pencil for the rough sketch. But the painting, I used a brush pack. And don't worry, it's a free brush pack. So there's an artist named Aaron Griffin whom I admire a lot. And I actually found a brush set from his Instagram profile and there was a brush named Charcoal 2. It's just phenomenal. I absolutely loved that brush and I used it for most of the painting like the skin, the outfit, the accessories. I used a different brush for hair but other than that everything was done with that Charcoal 2 brush. So you will be able to find his free brush pack from his Instagram profile. I have given the link to his profile in the description. You will be able to find it easily. In case of the hair, I have used rough hair brush. That is also from his brush pack and it's incredible. And you need to have Apple Pencil to unlock the full potential of this brush because it has the tilt option it helps you create some cool strokes of hair when you tilt the pencil a bit every time I keep telling myself that I won't work too much on details i'll just try to keep it simple and i'll try to do the less is more thing but i keep failing every single time i really tried this time but my brain was like no you can't you have to add those details it literally forced me for example i really struggled with the accessories because of that the beads you can see on his wrist caused me a lot of problems. When I was painting it, my brain was like, fix that pearl, it's not round like others, make it same sized, make the reflection perfect, so it's just really difficult. But one thing I know that no one is going to notice those minute changes of details that I made, I know that. No one is going to bother about that. But my brain don't care. It will force me every single time to make things look the way it wants. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I don't enjoy 
making the details i love those that is truly satisfying but there's the downside that i am trapped in it i'm so trapped by the details that i can't really make my art look painterly it might look almost perfect but it doesn't have that extra charm that you can see when the artist adds some unique elements to the portrait on the other hand my mind would be like stick to the reference i want to make things look different but it's just so hard when you focus too much on details it's a really bad side effects of loving to add details i don't know when i'm going to overcome this and make my art look a bit loose a bit more painterly i don't know but let's see that's so far the best i know many people out there would actually like to add more details to their art but here i am wanting to make it more loose so what kind of struggle do you face in case of details are you like me who is trapped by the details and wants to make thing more painterly and loose or are you someone who wants to add more precise details to their art it would be really interesting to see if more people feel like me or it's the opposite so this specific artwork took me more than 22 hours which is almost a day and which is more than twice the normal amount i usually take so you can tell how much time went for this detailing i wish i could make full fledged portrait within 2 3 hours or maximum 4 hours but currently i don't think that i can achieve that goal maybe someday in future i would definitely love to achieve that and i have said too much negative things about detailing already but still i must say that this is one of my favorite pieces of 2021 i can absolutely tell you that it's just i wanted not to focus on details too much but still ended up doing it i don't regret it i would make such detailed art again and again in the future but still it feels like i failed to achieve the new goal of making things more painterly at this point you might be thinking girl just make up your mind trust me i want to make up my mind but there's also another problem i am indecisive or probably i just want the best of both worlds i want to make detailed art and i also want to make painterly art it's like a continuous tug of war inside my head but in the end the detailed ones always win always every single time the detailed ones are winning so what i personally think in case of realistic art we should have some details to some extent but we can also add our own element to make it our own art not just a photograph if you create a 100% carbon copy of the reference it becomes another photograph it would lack that charm those brush strokes the way of coloring that unique thing you add in your art makes it much more appealing i am not saying that making a 100% replica of a reference is something bad it's a huge talent i have huge respect for the people who make hyper realistic art keeping every single detail intact it's crazy it's mind blowing this is just my personal opinion and personal taste that i think the art looks better when it has that painterly feel in it So what is your opinion? What is your opinion on adding details? What's your opinion on hyperrealism? Let me know in the comments.
I know it's a huge debate, but I love to hear your opinions. I know this video was quite a lot different than the usual ones, but I really wanted to talk about this topic to you guys. You might have noticed that this week and last week's video came quite a bit later than my usual weekend uploads. The reason was I was too invested in making the arts. This art and the last art was super detailed and it took a lot more time than expected. So naturally this topic was inside my mind the whole time and I just wanted to talk about it. So let me know if you want to watch more of these discussion kind of videos, then I would love to make them. And for now, enjoy the process. I'll get back to you later. Before we reach the end of today's video, I would quickly like to tell you that you can always check out videos from my painting and blending playlist if you want to know more about how I blend and color my portraits. I'm sure those are going to be helpful. There is also another small but important video about how to enhance your art, make it more vibrant, make it more attractive. It's like one of those post-production ideas that you need and you can find that video on the card above. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's discussion as well as the art process. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.